Okay, I'm going to go through how to set up the GoPro app so that you can use your Hero 3 through Wi-Fi and connect to control using your iPhone, using Preview, and camera control. So let's go and show you how to install the app. So you go to your App Store, type in GoPro, There's the GoPro app, and mine's installing. If you haven't installed the app before, it's probably going to ask you for your Apple ID. Just punch in your password for your Apple ID and begin the installation. It's a free app and shouldn't take too long to install. Okay, now the app is finished installing, you just click on open. Okay, it starts off by searching for a GoPro Wi-Fi. So now that we have the app installed, now we're going to go and set up the Hero 3. Okay, you're going to go ahead and update your firmware on your GoPro Hero 3 so that you can use the GoPro app. Go to gopro.com. Just stop that initial video. Go to support. Go down here to Hero 3 update. Okay, you can follow the instructions here. So you're going to have to take and put a blank SD card into your camera, power on your Hero, take a picture to make sure that it's re uh, recording to the card properly. Make sure your Wi-Fi is off by hitting the button on the side of the camera. Make sure you got a good solid battery levels. Connect your GoPro to the computer. going to ask you for your name and email address. Oops. Okay, continue. Okay, so automatic camera detection, and we're going to hit start. It's detecting the camera. It's asking me if I want to run this. Yep, where? Yes. Camera detective, camera type Hero 3 Black Edition, continue. This is where you can uh, type in the name that will actually appear on your GoPro camera. So, um, let me type it Larry GoPro. Larry Hero 3. Password. Okay, what's a longer password? I guess it wants an 8 character password. Okay, download the updates. Okay, it says my update was successfully downloaded. To complete your update, please eject your camera and disconnect it from the computer. Power off your camera, power on your camera. And we'll go to the next step over at the GoPro and the GoPro app. Okay, now that we've updated our firmware on our Hero 3, we are going to enable it to uh, use the Wi-Fi app. So we're going to turn on our Hero 3. And we're going to go to the settings menu. 
This is a little wrench. One, two, three, four. That goes to the settings. At the top, we're going to go to the wireless controls menu, which is seven taps. Okay, right now the Wi Fi is off. We're going to hit this again. Gives us uh, choices of off, uh, Wi Fi, remote control, GoPro app, or cancel. So we're going to go down to GoPro app. We're going to hit enter on the top there. Okay, now it looks like it's set up. A little blue light should be flashing now, letting us know that our Wi Fi is on. And we have a little uh, indicator here at the bottom that our Wi-Fi is on. I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our phone. First of all, we're going to go into our settings menu and show you how to get settings in Wi-Fi. You go to Wi-Fi, and then you go to... That's where you can see where I had Larry Hero 3, which I put in the computer when I downloaded the firmware. So we're going to hit that right there. It's going to ask me for the password that I put in when I did that. Okay, and we will hit join. Okay, now it's connecting to, my phone is connecting to the Wi-Fi that my Hero 3 is putting out. So you have to connect to, your, to the Wi-Fi and the Hero first before you can use the GoPro app. So we're going to go back, we're going to go to our GoPro app. Okay, in the GoPro app it says to connect to control, so you just tap that to connect. Okay, and I have the cap on so you can't see the preview. There's about a three second delay between what the camera shoots and when it shows up on the, on the preview. Okay, so we have a little preview window here. It shows right now I have 18 videos on this uh, a GoPro, uh, the Wi-Fi signals right there, your battery. This turns the preview on and off. Um, I just leave that off for a second. Uh, we can turn the camera on and off here, and then this is our settings menu. If we turn it sideways and hit the preview window, we go into sideways mode. So in the sideways mode, um, it gives you a bigger preview window, and we can turn the preview back on again right here. And then it tells us all the different information about what we're shooting. But let's first of all, let's go into the settings menu. In the camera controls menu, you can turn on the preview on and off again. Locate camera is a neat little feature that when you hit that, it makes the camera light up and beep. So if you've lost your GoPro, you can hit that to find it. The other thing you can do is change the different modes. So you got video mode, you can do photo shooting mode, Time lapse mode. That's continuous shooting mode. It's just uh, blanking out. Okay, now so let's go back to video mode, and let's go to the settings menu. This is where you can be able to control most of the settings in your GoPro app. So first of all, it has the name of your camera, Black Edition, the version. It has my Wi-Fi name, which I set up before. It has the version of the software. This is where you can do a lot of changing here. So I got my video resolution, you can change that to all the different resolution choices you have with the Hero. The Black Edition has a few more choices. For each resolution, you got different frame rates you can choose. The field of view, you can choose wide, medium, or narrow. You can change your photographic resolution here. You can do, uh, in a continuous shooting mode, you can change settings there. You can change your burst rate settings. Change your time lapse settings. You can change the orientation of the camera, so if you get the camera mounted upside down, you can change it here. Spot meter is changing how it uh, sees the light. This uh, photo and video lets you change whether or not it um, takes pictures every 5, 10, 30, 60 seconds while you're shooting goat video. Looping video, you can turn ProTune on or off. Your default power up, you can change that. Um, the default is video, but you can change it to photo burst or time lapse. NTSC or PAL, 
This changes whether how many LEDs you have lit up. Uh, you can actually turn them off if you like. This is the sound, such as this, you know, how loud the, the beeping is. And you can delete last file, delete all files from the SD card, or in that set date and time. This tells you your battery level and then your SD card capacity. And this also lets you set up your uh, Wi Fi remote. If you have a Wi Fi remote like this, you can um, set up and add a Wi Fi remotes um, that will work with your Hero 3. Okay? Let's get done here. Let's get done. We go back to our preview window. If you tap your preview window, it goes into like a full screen mode. So you can just have it setting up. So if you're trying to get a really good view of what's uh, recording on your camera, you can put it into full screen mode. Just tap it again. It takes it out of full screen mode. You can start and stop your recording in this screen. So you can just hit this right here and it starts recording. Generates a preview. Like that. It stops recording. And you can hit go back here. And goes back to this screen. So um, you have basically the same controls. Obviously, in the other screen, it's just much bigger. And then you can go back to your connection control screen that you came in when you started the GoPro app. If you get to this screen and it doesn't let you connect to control, that means you haven't connected to the camera's Wi Fi. And that's uh, how you use the GoPro app with your Hero 3.